So you want to make a quick cartoon house in Blender. So you take the default cube, add a loop cut, make a roof shape, then add another loop cut. But wait a second, those edges are not the same length, because the loop cut takes a percentage of the original edges. So, you delete that loop cut, and then you select these faces, and extrude, and that's nice and even. So now you can just select these faces, and extrude. But don't move them anywhere, just release them, and then scale them along the x-axis. So that way it's faster to do, and they become exactly the same length. And then you try to make the overhang on this side, and this annoying thing happens, where you can't seem to get it exactly right, and it sucks. So let's try that again. So what you want to do is go up here and enable the move gizmo to see things better. So when you select one of the roof faces, you see the transformation arrows. And with that face selected, you go up here and change the transform orientation to normal. So now the arrows conform to the face. So what you can now do is click this little plus icon and it saves the current orientation for later use. So now you can just select these faces, extrude, release, move them along the x-axis, and voila, it works. And then just scale to zero along the x-axis to make the angle right. And then just repeat the process on the other side. So that works, but there's actually an even faster method of doing this, so let's delete all these and try again. So you select these faces again, and then you select the Extrude Along Normals tool. And then if you go here in the tool settings and enable Offset Even, then when you extrude, you actually have these outside faces already pointing in the right direction, so it's just a matter of a simple extrusion, and they are correct. Whoops, that one became a bit too short, so what do we do now? Well, you could go up here and move in the right direction with the normal orientation, but another good trick is to use a feature that's kind of hidden in the slide tool. So if you double press G, you can slide the face along the edges that it's connected to. But as you can see, you can't really slide it past the original length of the edges. But if you press C while you are in the sliding mode, it actually extends the edges to infinity and you can slide the face freely. And it works for edges and vertices too, which is very useful. Okay, so those were the tips I wanted to share. So now I'll just quickly make this into a nice low-poly scene while we can discuss something else for a moment. This wouldn't be a Sketches for Humanity video without some contemplation. So I'm listening to a book right now called How the World Thinks. It's about all the different kinds of philosophies around the world. And it's fascinating to realize some of the things I as a Western person have thought of as the obvious ways of thinking. For example, according to the author, it's a very Western thing to think of the golden age of humanity being in the future or in the present rather than it being long gone in the historic times, like many Eastern cultures traditionally think. One other thing is how we in the West tend to think about logic and reasoning as sort of the ultimate mental tools to solving problems and coming up with solutions. In the Eastern cultures it seems much more common to include things like holistic intuition and spontaneity in those tools. And also in general things are perceived as a whole, and it's sometimes even avoided to break things down and analyze the components, etc. And it's also more common to put more weight on past gurus' advices. It's important to mention here that I'm mostly speaking about the traditional Western and Eastern cultures from the past couple centuries. I think nowadays we are seeing a lot of homogenization in the cultures of the world, especially among younger generations. But these traditional ways of thinking still can have a big effect on a person's mind, and I think it's very educational to get to know different ways of thinking in general. I was also reading another paper on the internet about these same topics, and the writer of that paper made an interesting note about the recent developments in Western science, sort of coming closer to the traditional Eastern philosophical speculations. The Eastern view of the universe is this constantly evolving, holistic thing, where everything relates to everything else. There's no clear direction of time, and the physical laws, if there is any, are fluid and contextual and changeable, and not easily describable. That was obviously very different from the Western early scientific view of the world, which was much more rigid and fragmented and formalizing. But the more recent breakthroughs in Western science seem interestingly closer to the Eastern worldview, on a conceptual level. The theory of evolution, the relativity of time and space, the quantum theory with all of its random probabilities. And there's a lot of talk about time not necessarily having a clear direction, and that the human perception of time is just a result of the blurred sense of the entropy around us. 
Of course, the Western science doesn't owe much to the Eastern philosophy, and with all these breakthroughs, it manages to describe the world so much more accurately and has enabled some incredible technologies and all that good stuff. But it's just interesting to notice the possible connections. But anyways, the house is ready now, and it's pretty. Um, I think that's it. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.